Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting a Windows update error saying that the updates failed and there were some problems installing some updates. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the start menu. Just like go on the start button one time. And you want to type in services. Last match should come back with services. Just want to left click on that one time. Now you want to first locate the Background Intelligence Transfer Service and double click on it. If service status is running, you want to stop it. Click Cancel or OK to get out of that basically. You just want to make sure it's stopped. And then you want to go down to the Windows Update Service. Double click on that. Service status is running, you want to stop it. Okay, so once that's done, you also want to set startup type to automatic. Again, you want to make sure service status is stopped, and then do apply and OK. Once we're done with that, close out of there. Now you want to open up File Explorer. So I'm just going to type in File Explorer into the Start menu. Best match to come back with File Explorer here. Just left click on that one time. Now you want to go underneath this PC on the left side to so just left click on that and then your local disk where Windows is installed on, so in my case it's my C drive, so I'm going to double click on that. And then I'm going to go underneath Windows, so double click on that one as well. And now locate software distribution, double click on that. Double click on download. And now anything listed in here, just highlight over everything, and then right click, delete. That's just going to delete the update cache, which is no big deal. It's not actually having any Windows updates in here. It's just the old version that was used to install the updates, pretty much, is how I would describe it. So it shouldn't take too long. Once that's done, I would suggest restarting your computer. Hopefully that resolved the problem. Now, if it did not, I'm going to have a couple of commands that I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully take it a step further if you're still having problems. First one would be to open up the start menu. And you want to type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that. And then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now I'm going to have two commands in the description of the video. First one is going to be a DISM command. So I'm going to go up to the top of the command prompt window here after you copy it out of my description. Go up to the top bar, right click, edit, and then paste. Please keep in mind exactly I'm only copying the one command in first. This will take some time to run, so you just want to be patient. Let the computer restart after it's done running successfully. And hopefully that would be able to resolve the problem. So again, just let it go. You will have to restart the computer. And hopefully that will be about it. If you're still having problems after running this tool, and you'll know once it gets to 100% that it finished, I would suggest 
You're running another command, so a command prompt, again, right click on it, left click run as administrator. This is after you've restarted your computer after running this other one. And it should be an SFC scan now command. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it on my screen to my video or type it in. It's not as hard to remember this one. But we're going to go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it one time, left click at it, and then left click on paste. Again, this is the second command you would run. This would not be run at the same time or concurrently with the other one. I'm just showing you what you would do after restarting your computer and you were still having issues. So hopefully one of these methods I went through in this tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.